According to the news report, South Korea's defense ministry has announced a new operational concept, called the Kill Web, as part of its Defense Innovation 4.0 initiative. The Kill Web system is aimed at neutralizing threats from North Korea's evolving nuclear and missile systems, even from a pre-launch stage. The new concept is designed to integrate various cutting-edge technologies, including artificial intelligence, big data analytics, and network systems, to enable South Korea's military to detect, track, and strike North Korean missile threats as early as possible. The concept involves a series of interconnected stages, including reconnaissance, surveillance, target acquisition, and precision strikes, and is intended to provide a more effective and comprehensive defense against North Korean missile attacks. While the success of the Kill Web concept remains to be seen, it represents an important step forward in the ongoing effort to address the threats posed by North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. The country now has a preemptive attack system in place called Kill Chain, which is designed to carry out a contingency operation in a linear, sequential way. The Kill Chain system involves a series of stages, including target identification, target tracking, target prioritization, decision-making, and the execution of an attack. It relies on advanced intelligence gathering and analysis, as well as real-time communication and coordination between military assets to carry out effective and efficient operations. The Kill Chain is a part of South Korea's three-axis system, which includes the deployment of the Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation KMPR campaign to neutralize the enemy's leadership and military infrastructure, as well as the use of the Korea Air and Missile Defense KAMD, to thwart approaching missile strikes. The Kill Chain concept is to proceed in a single direction, but the Kill Web is like a spider's web, entails frequent mission adjustments to ensure the operational effectiveness. In contrast, the Kill Web is a more flexible strategy that allows field offices to modify their initial target selections to maximize strike operations. The Defense Ministry has emphasized that the Kill Web approach will be used to execute the Kill Chain system more effectively rather than to replace it. The aim is to create integrated, all-domain operations using cutting-edge technologies such as AI to ensure that South Korea's military can win a war with minimal casualties in the shortest possible time. In recent months, South Korea has stepped up its collaboration with the U.S. military and incorporated cutting-edge technologies such as AI to enhance and modernize its military capabilities. And despite North Korea's vows to take unprecedented intense action against large-scale annual military exercises by South Korea and the U.S., the two countries have decided to continue with the Freedom Shield exercise, a computer-simulated command post training, from March 13 to 23. This exercise is intended to improve their defense and reaction capabilities. However, North Korea is likely to respond to these drills, with more aggressive rhetoric and provocative missile testing, as it perceives them as an invasion preparation.